And I want you to take a look at who's on the street. We're getting out of our car because I actually have an appointment and I have to get back to the house in like about 40 minutes. And so we're just taking them for a fast walk after we went to the vitamin store. Now, I figured, well, we'll just walk quickly on Via Esmarca, which is close to our house. All right, now I want you to take a look at the guy in red as we get out for our walk. Only person on the street. So let's recap what happened. And I've only been out less than a half hour. Went to the vitamin store, red car passes by as I'm getting out of my car. Uh, came here because I'm going to take him for a fast walk on Via Esmarca. Lady in red walks in front of us. Getting out of our car, man in red walks in front of us. Empty street both times. Do you think this is a coincidence? Or do you think that this is the government gang stalking of the expanded neighbor neighborhood watch group um, created under George Bush? I was just listening to the neocons giving their spiel why they want to be president. And the chief among them is Rubio. Chief among the warmongering neocons who want who have created a police state, and you have Chris Christie saying the NSA is nothing. Well, of course, from the perspective of a neocon, it's nothing, and all these Republicans have neocon foreign policies, with the exception of Rand Paul. Cheney screwed us. He gave America a Stasi. They gang stalk citizens, and it's not your neocons that they're gang stalking. It's just citizens that are regular, normal, everyday people. So what we've got to do is get those neocons out of office, like Rubio, like Chris Christie, and vote in people like Bernie Sanders and Rand Paul. I think maybe there's a red car convention going on here. How many people think there's a red car? How many people think it's Citizen Corps? I think it's Citizen Corps? Gang stalking? You think that this is what Cheney did to America? Screwing America? Time for us to rise up in the presidential election of 2016.